Welcome back everybody to the channel. Um, so I've been a little bit a little sick so I haven't been able to get uh, any videos uploaded recently but um, for today's video we're going to be going back and taking a look at a computer that I already uh, featured on one of my videos where we uh, changed the screen on it because I had a cracked screen. So if you haven't seen that video make sure you check that out. I'll probably put that down in the description and link to it so you can check that out. Um, so we ended up really uh, keeping the computer uh, that I have here. Um, uh, my wife ended up using it for her school and all that and the bad thing that I did at the beginning is that I only added 8 gigs of RAM to it and right now what's happening is that since she does schoolwork and, and other stuff on it uh, she'll have like 19, 20 tabs open and then the 8 gigs of RAM just isn't enough for what she's trying to do. So today we're going to go ahead and add another 8 gig stick so we can make 16 total that should help her out a little bit uh more than what um it, it is currently doing and uh we're gonna take a look at how to do that uh since uh we're here to learn right so let's get started all right everybody so what we're gonna do with this one to get in it um we are going to be taking off these screws here uh one two three four five six screws in the front, I'll actually uh, turn it around so you guys can see that. There's screws in the front. And we're going to be using this uh, key here. I'll uh, see what size this is. Uh, it's like a star shaped. I actually forgot what this is called. Um, but you should be able to easily find it. Right, so we're going to remove this one. We're going to remove this screw. We're going to remove the front screws as well. All right, now that those are done, we are going to remove two more screws. Uh, the previous owner that had this actually uh, took these two off and ripped the first one. So, uh, but the only screws that, that are left are actually under the two um, pads here at the back, in the back. So we're gonna lift this up. And these are just gonna be Phillips screws, Phillips head screws. There you go. And we're going to use a little Phillips head to remove these two. So these aren't coming out, which means that we're going to magnetize our uh, screwdriver. Um, I usually just put a magnet on it um, just to see if we can get these out. If not, let's see, can I get it out? Yep, there we go. Use a little magnet. Kind of get, gets those out very easily. All right, now that those are done, let's start by prying on the back. So we're gonna go here. I think this might actually open. There we go. So I just pulled on the back here, because um, this is this this back piece is part of the bottom, and then pull all the way around. Then. See if we can do the wiggle wiggle. Oh. So the side ones are not letting go, so we have to get in there somehow. Uh, we're gonna use a little pry tool. Oh wow, it's a little harder than I thought. Wait, let's make sure there's nothing in here. There's nothing down here, is there? No, there isn't. Okay, <laughs> I had I second I, I had a I second thought myself or however you say it because I couldn't get it off. I was just like, what? All right, all right, there we go. So we got to pull pretty hard. That's what it is. You just have to pull pretty hard. Oh, these bottom pieces here are also magnetic. So have you noticed? Have, there's little magnets all, all the way through here. So you'll notice that this will actually pull in by itself. But okay, we got that off, we got that off. All right, so let me turn this around so you guys can see what's inside of this unit. So what's inside of this unit is going to be the NVMe slot. The NVMe slot is right here. This is where we uh, change the NVMe. We also have a SATA um, area here so you can put in a hard drive if you really wanted uh, more storage or you can put another two and a half 
inch SSD in here. Uh, the two RAM slots are right here. And in order for us to change them, um, just to, to take them out, it's gonna be like other computers. We're gonna pull on these two tabs here away from each other, like that, like so, and it'll come out and then it'll it'll pry up and then we'll we pull out. So for now though, just I just want to make sure that these two match. Now 2666, 8 gig, 8 gig. So we're just gonna add that one back in. The one that was already in there. So we insert it, take a take one finger and then push down. Here the click. Make sure these two latches are actually uh, holding it in. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Um, and you, you'll notice that this side is different than this side because we have to match the notch that that's in here with the little pin that's right there. So it only goes in one way. So we're gonna go ahead and insert that this way and see how the other side, it'll be inserted uh, the other way. So, all right, so insert at an angle like that and then take one finger, press down the two, the two clips um, clamp there and then we're good. All right, that's pretty much it. So we have RAM, NVMe, and hard drive. That's how you change everything in here. Um, or this is what it looks like. Uh, let's put the back panel back on and uh, see if the uh, RAM works. So I'm lining up the front piece first because that one has the magnets on it. There we go. And then, be, and then I'll put the back, the front piece in first. All right, and I'll turn it around and then work on the sides. All right. And then we're gonna work on the back. Okay. And then with HPs, I make it a habit to always push down the middle because there are, there's some HPs that have a clip right here. This one has like a little tiny thing right there, but it's not it's not that big. Uh, it's not that uh, hard of a clip. All right, so let's go ahead and put the other ones back together, and then let's turn it turn it on and make sure it works. putting these screws in sometimes I like to just hold it in place with one hand um, as I find uh, the hole because often if it's not aligned really well it'll fall off and it's gonna be a headache just trying to keep that on trying to keep this on the tip like that I know it's magnetic but if you notice here there is a magnet here that catches it so um, it's it's often nice to just kind of hold it in place so it doesn't move and once you get it in the hole you kind of just screw it in all right All right, so there you have it. It's as easy as that uh, to change the RAM on these. Um, so I always like to verify that it does function just by turning it on, obviously. But I also like to launch um, a task manager and check the RAM um, area to make sure that, they, that both six show up. So both six do show up um, and only 12 gigs out of the 16 actually show on here because uh, it uses the internal graphics. So it takes uh, some of the RAM to use internal graphics on here, if it had like a dedicated graphics card within this system, it wouldn't it wouldn't do that. But since it doesn't, it does take some of that um, some of the resources for it. So I think that's what I was actually affecting her, um, because you, you doing the homework on eight gigs of RAM shouldn't be that bad. But at the same time, if you have internal graphics and you're doing a lot of tabs and a lot of Google Chrome, for example, um, it it does use up most of your resources. At one point, I when I was watching her, she actually had like 512 megabytes left uh, just for the system to work um, at, when she was doing her homework. So um, it was, uh, I, she, she was telling me that it was a little like lagging or freezing on her or like the tabs were, or the, or the page was. So with the 16 gigs, technically only 12 are gonna be usable, but should, that should be a little bit better uh, for her in the uh, future. Now, if this turns out to be not enough again, obviously we're gonna have to go up to 32 gigs of RAM. But we're gonna try 16 for now. I'm gonna hand this off to my wife for her to test and hopefully it works out. So if this video was helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you share it because somebody might out there might actually have this unit and probably feels a little iffy about working on it. But once they see the video and how easy it is, 
they should be just fine. So thanks again, take care of each other, and uh, see you on the next one.